So you own a local business and you want to make sure that you rank on that very top position so none of your competitors can have your leads. And right now I'm going to show you two tips, actionable tips you can implement today to make sure you rank above your competitors. And these are done with AI. So let's break it down. All right, we're here. And as you can see, we have three tips, not just two. And so the very first one is, and because of course we are in the AI age, is to use an AI agent tailored for SEO. Here's what I mean by this. Now, an AI agent is something, or it's an AI, right, that goes into your site and automatically changes things. It thinks it should be changed according to how the AI is trained on your technical SEO. So this is tailored to improve your brand's technical SEO, okay? Now, if you've been following for a long time, you know that SEO has three main pillars. On-page SEO, okay? We have off-page SEO, right? And then we have technical SEO, okay? On-page SEO is essentially every single thing that happens on the site. How you write the content, what you put in there, your internal linking structure, your images, how you convey yourself as a brand. That's everything that happens on the site, you're on-page. Off-page is link building, essentially building backlinks, okay? How many backlinks you should be building, the link velocity, anchor taxes you're choosing, how strong are the domains, all that stuff. And by the way, I have all of links down below for courses on how to do on-page SEO and off-page SEO, so don't worry about this now. And then technical SEO is like the boring stuff of SEO, your uh, site speed, your, your schema markup, your uh, um, meta tags, right? All that boring stuff. But it's also very important because you cannot succeed in SEO just with one of these pillars. I'll give you an example. Let's say you have the best on page and the best off page, but then your technical SEO lacks. Your site is super slow. So even though, right, this is Google, right? You're ranking first right here, right, and all your competitors are like below you, right? Even though you're ranking first, well, if people, people click your, your site, it takes so long to load, well, eventually they'll just click off and click the second result. And if they do this over and over again, well, eventually you're gonna start dropping. Okay, so that's just a short example of how important this is. Schema markup as well. So schema markup is what allows you to do stuff like this. So if I just search for Dallas Plumber and just scroll down, I know there's a guy here with, with schema in specific review schema. So these little stars uh, right here, this is done right with review schema. So this guy doesn't have it, this guy doesn't have it. Even though this, they are ranking second here in this section, well, the CTR here should be higher than this one right here because not only does this occupy more pixels, right, than these guys right here, Right? But it also has like this unique thing, yellow color reviews, which calls the user's eyes. So this is done with schema markup. Again, very important. Now this AI agent that I'm gonna show you will help you with all this. So here's the one I use. No, this is the one I use. So if I go here to my dashboard, click on blog automation, then click on set optimizers. I'll just add my site right here. And you'll add, add yours, of course. Let's just do my local site. Actually, let me just do an actual local business, why not? because uh, I think it's easier, like so. So I'll just copy, let's just do these guys right here. I have no affiliation with them, by the way. I'm just using them as an example. Boom, there you go, pasting their site right here. English, American, and create. Now, what this AI agent will do, essentially is the work a human would do, but because we have this amazing technology that is AI, well, we need to leverage it. Because the work that this AI agent is gonna do right now would take you so long to do yourself that it doesn't make any sense. And so what this is doing right now, as you can see, it's analyzing pages on our site. Now, as of now, as of today, as of February 7th, right, it only does a max of 10. Around next week, it will do as many as you want. And also, it will do a lot more stuff, just like we discussed about, like schema, site speed, links, all the things that technical SEO needs, it will do automatically. As of now, this is just does page titles and meta description. That being said, still super valuable. Here's why. So we are in the page title tab. And so what this gives us right here is for this page right here, right? For slash elo yes or whatever, right? This is the, the page title, which is, is super weird. And the AI is recommending we change it to emergency plumbing services in Marana AZ, then the brand name. And then not only that, it just doesn't, doesn't just suggest, excuse me, things at random. It tells us the why. So it tells us why it thinks you should change the meta title for this. Well, it says, this title is concise and includes primary keywords like emergency plumbing service, of course, in the location, which are likely search terms for users needing uh, Im immediate plumbing help. It clearly indicates the service offering and the location improving relevancy on local searches. So then you can just click apply right here and this will be automatically applied to the site. Just like that, it will be live. Of course, you need to install like a script, but just, just do this in like a few seconds. And so it gives us 
things we can actively change. Now, we did this manually, of course, but what you can do is just select all these and click apply. And then if you click apply to all, the crawlers will crawl to your site, update all the page titles, just like that. Same thing for meta descriptions, right? You see the suggestions here. If you don't like some, you can just archive them, right? But the ones you like, right, you can just have the AI update them for you automatically. Again, as of now, just page titles and meta descriptions, but this saves you a ton of time. And I know what you're thinking, ah, oh, yeah, but will this make any difference? Yes, right? It's all these little optimizations that in the long run make a difference. Is having the proper page title, the proper meta description, both optimized for click-through rate in the SERPs, as well as SEO optimization. All these, these things, things, excuse me, matter, and they will make a difference, okay? Don't neglect technical SEO. Again, like I said, SEO is made out of three pillars, and a lot of times people tend to neglect technical SEO because it's the most boring one. I'd say in terms of neglect, people neglect the most technical, then off-page SEO, which is building backlinks, not sure why, and then on-page SEO. A lot of people know the, the importance of building backlinks, but they just don't build them. And by the way, quick plug, I'll leave a link because here in, uh, in this little tool, you can also buy backlinks. Just go here to purchase backlinks and you can buy links that, I mean, you can see some results right here. We take sites from literal zero to 10K a month just off of these links. We just recently took a site, which I'll put this screenshot right here, from around 400 monthly organic tra search traffic to 1600 a month just by building a couple of backlinks. So I'll just leave this here. Um, now, second tip is use a page builder. Leverage a page builder. What do I mean by this? Well, you are a local business and there's two types of local businesses, okay? Either you are a business that goes out to the client or the client comes to you. This is probably a bad, uh, better uh, analogy. So either your local business has multiple uh, locations and the clients go individually to each location or you have one location and you go out to the client, right? You go out to the client. Instead of the client coming to you like so, right? You go out to them. So usually these will be like plumbers, right? Electricians, right? Where you actually go out to the client. These ones will be like plastic surgery clinics, maybe lawyers, maybe dentists, right? Where people come into your physical location. Regardless of this, right? You should be targeting multiple locations. So plumbing services in Arizona, plumbing services in, you can do states, you can do cities, you can do boroughs, right? You can even do um, postal codes. You can like dumb it down. You can like, funnel it down, excuse me. And so for this, it's, it doesn't really make sense to do all this manually, right? Where you can just use a page builder like this one right here, where for example, you just do my uh, plumbing, plumbing company. Right? And what this will do is if you give it a prompt, right, based on your brand, on your site, what you do, your pricing, your services, it will give you a page done based on this prompt. So let me just put a prompt right here. This is supposed to be a service page for my local business named Kowalski's Plumbing, right? We offer 24 hour plumbing services on all 52 US states, right? Our pricing is the lowest in the market. We've been in business since 1800 and have had over 10 million clients, right? This is a bit of a, of a joke here, but you get the point. Uh, the point is that you give it as much context on what the page you want to build is, as well as who this page is being built for, my business, as well, of course, what the type of page is, the service page, okay? Again, you, you can uh, prompt this much better and much longer. Let me just hit create right here. And so now the AI will build out this page according to what I just said, it, right? Now, of course, I need to choose a section. So let me just do a header. And let's do, for example, a content basic, um, three columns. You can do feature grids, feature rows, FAQ, and also maybe testimonials, right? And a team, a place to put in the team. Now, of course, I didn't speak about the team who, who we were, but if I just added my URL, you'd know like who the team was, right? Of course, he made it up because again, I didn't even, didn't even give it context. So what you see here is all done in a few seconds with AI based off of the input we gave it. So again, plus you company, 24 seven, like we said, right? 52 US states, over 200 years, right? Which is a joke, and biddable prices. And all of these are ba built based on that. Services we have, right? FAQs. Again, I didn't give it enough context, right? Ideally, if you're doing this, write as much as you can about your brand. Maybe pasting the about us from your from your sites page to the prompt right here. 
Tell it as much stuff as you can. Now, if there's something you don't like, just do this, right? Regenerate copy. And you will regenerate the copy, not just based on this, but based on the whole page. So if you don't like something here, right, it will regenerate this, but taking into account this and the rest of the whole copy, of, uh, the rest of the copy of the page. So none of this is random, right? And then you can just copy this and put, paste it to your site, right? Again, just a quick and easy way to build out location pages or services pages just like that. And my goal with this video is to show you that you should be leveraging AI because it just saves you a ton of time. You need to be doing this manually, but why would you, you can just leverage AI to do it so much faster for you, right? Doesn't make any sense. And third and last, it's lead magnets. Now, this is a way in which you can increase the value of your traffic captured. Let me give an example. Let's say this is you, right? And this is a competitor, right? And they get like 1 million in traffic every month and you get only um, 200K per month, okay? Now, at a first glance, you think, oh yeah, these guys are making more money, but not necessarily because more traffic, more traffic doesn't necessarily mean more money, right? It's all about how you can capture the traffic, right? Are they capturing all these a million people and converting them into clients? Maybe not, maybe you're capturing more. Maybe even though you have less traffic, you're capturing more people. Your conversion rates are higher. And having lead magnets is a fantastic way to increase your conversion rates. In other words, it's a fantastic way to increase the amount of people you can have buy your service or product from you that come into your site. And keeping up with the same example, for a plumber, for example, what you can do is you can go here to lead magnets. Again, I know I'm using the same software over and over again, but if you can find another software that does this, go ahead, right? I just created a lead magnet for plumber, which is this little widget I can embed in my site, my homepage, my services page, my contacts page, I can embed this anywhere, right? And this is interactive, right? I say here, um, my toilet is, is clogged, how much you charge to fix it, get quote. And now the AI will tell me right, a clock toilet, I mean, whatever, it's $75 for clogging the toilet, right? So it's an interactive experience for my users. Now, how does this happen? Well, I gave it a prompt, right? Okay, and uh, that's basically it. Now, then they can put in their email right here to get a, uh, speak with an expert or put in their phone number, and these will be added here to your lead list, which then you can call or email, right? Now I can even say, my company is called Kowalski, Plumbing, right? Let's give it a bit more context. Be extremely concise. Give them a price range as well as a time to fix, right? Hit save changes. And I can disable, if I don't want to collect leads emails, I can disable this. So let's just use the same prompt, right? And again, this is something that the user would use actively on your site. So there you go. Thank you for reaching out to Quality Plumbing regarding your clock toilet. We understand whatever we charge between 100 and 250 and one to two hours it should be done, right? There you go. Again, you don't need to, you can do anything you want because the prompting is is, um, is infinite right here. If you are a plastic surgery clinic, you can ask about surgery complications, surgery pricing, you can do BMI calculators, you can do travel plans, you can do, there's infinite things you can do. If for example, you are a, uh, you are a car salesman, you have like a stand where you sell cars, well you can do car financing calculators, uh, mortgage calculators, you can do a bunch of things. The point is that you're creating these interactive widgets that allow your potential clients to interact with you which nobody is doing, right? And so just a bonus, little bonus tip to allow you to interact with your users and try and convert as much traffic as you can into paid, um, paid user. Because listen, if I'm a, a potential client for, for a plumber, right? And I don't wanna call you up, I wanna know the pricing. Well, I just use your, the AI on your site and it tells me the pricing and then it gives me a call to action to, hey, listen, call us up to get a 10% discount, whatever, right? You're, you're, I'm able to interact with your business. I'm able to know about the pricing, the time it takes, anything else I want, anything else you build onto the tool, to get me to know about your business a bit more. Hopefully this makes sense. Hopefully these three tips were valuable. I know I just used the same AI for this, but it's the one I own. If you can find any other AI that does this, well, great. My point is that you need to leverage AI. Don't be the one of those businesses that doesn't leverage AI, because if you are, well, you're gonna get left behind. Thanks so much for watching, like, subscribe, give it a go. And if you want a coupon code, well, just go here and ask the guys for, um, for a coupon code and support, boom, boom, and say, hey, listen, I came from this video, I want a coupon code, and the guys will hook you up with a coupon code. Thanks so much for watching, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.